of those majestic beasts swimming freely in the dark blue vastness because i certainly did my god you're gonna love this footage what a day for it unbelievable so guys i really should probably go and get my towel since i've been in here for about four hours but uh until then peace out keep it real and remember there's Boom. Oh yeah, they're gonna absolutely love that. How does this get made? Wow. This post is doing really well. Hey Carly. You should just do it. Oof. Stay tuned because I am going somewhere very special on my next adventure. Hey, Bubba. <sighs> I wish I could do this full time Boba well I have to save a lot of money and work hard to pay for these adventures Boba yep <laughs> that's the dream Boba maybe someday
Good morning, Jennifer. Hope your work is over, Jane. Yep. Yeah, don't worry. I'll have everything over with you uh, very shortly. Have it on my desk ASAP. It's all there and ready to go. I just have to press send. Okay, bye-bye. Leave me alone. Hey, Dad. Hi, sweetie. Just checking in with you to make sure everything's all right. Haven't heard from you for a few days. Yeah, all is good, Dad. I am actually just working on some documents here and they're, they're overdue. Um, yeah, yeah, that should be good. Um, do you want to touch base closer to the time? We can confirm then. Okay. I'll see you then, love. Love you. Bye. Love you too, Dad. Oh, son of a bitch. I'm sorry, Miss Cunningham, but that's company standard policy. Bullshit. I want to speak to Jennifer now. Yeah, sure. Uh, let me just check if she's free and I'll just transfer you across. Is that okay? Hello? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, how can I help you? Sorry, Matt, I told you, you can't afford a Bentley. No, it's not in your budget. It's not. Yeah, yeah, no, I'm sure. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Not what I said. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's all there on the website. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Really? You can just sign up for some of it. I didn't say the last page. I said the first page. Mm-hmm. No problem. That's not what we said. You, you want to change it? Okay. It's not going to take 15 minutes. Salespeople, you know? Okay, great. Hello? So do you know what you're having? Yep, I am gonna go for the apple pie. Okay, anything else too? No, no, that's it. No worries, can't be long. Great. So... Did you know that a slice of pie in Jamaica costs three pounds? But in the Bahamas, three pound fifty. No. Well, that's the pie rates of the Caribbean. Oh, no. Dad. Come on. No. Hmm? <laughs> Did you know your granny's got a new boyfriend? This is just another terrible dad joke, isn't it? No, 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 no. He's younger than I am. Wow. Granny is such a cougar, isn't she, Dad? <laughs> but she's getting more action than I am. Well, I wouldn't have really put it like that, but if I may ask, are you seeing anybody special at the moment? Now, you know me. Independent woman. Well, I'm very happy on my own. It's still good to see you, love. Yeah. And you as well, Dad. And you know what? I'm sorry that I haven't been around so much lately. Just work has been so busy, you know? I know Mum's anniversary is coming up too. But guess what? I'm going to the lighthouse for my next adventure vlog. Ah, the lighthouse. It was one of your mum's favourite spots. She used to love taking you up there as a kid. Yeah. I mean, you are staying safe. Listen, Dad, you know me. Safety always first. God, I've been doing this.
doing this for years, you know. Mm. So you don't need to worry. It's just my only advice to clear my head. Just get me away from work. How is work, by the way? It's the same old dad, you know. It's a real slog, actually. But I suppose since working from home, it's a bit better, you know, because I can work at my own pace. I don't have to deal with Juniper <laughs> on a daily basis. Ugh. She wants a meeting with me this Friday, though. Well, your mum always said there was more important things in life than just money. She wanted you to, to be happy, to follow your dreams. Look, you know, if there's anything you ever need, I'm here for you. Thanks, Dad. <laughs> That's... Oh. Thank you. Do you know how much a slice of pie costs in Jamaica? Hope, are you listening to me? You have to work with me here, Hope. You haven't met any of your targets in the last two quarters. And I'm constantly having to chase you up for your work. If you do not meet your deadlines, you're not helping yourself in any way. You have to work with me here, Hope. You do still want to be part of the group, don't you? Yes. Of course I do. Oh, you've been here now nearly two years. You've shown little to no interest in the ways of personal progression. Ben, he's been here less than six months and look where he is now. Yeah, because Ben is happy conforming and being told what to do on a daily basis. First thing Monday morning, Hope. Oh, Make sure your work's on my desk. So guys, this is going to be a special one. Cracking point. It is an outstanding stretch of Coast of Magnificence. And it also has some personal significance for me as well. I haven't just chosen it for its natural beauty alone. No, no. Let's just say there's a cliff there that's going to be a personal best if I can manage to conquer her. So, get your climbing shoes on and come with me as we conquer this thing together. Keep it real. And remember, there's always hope. Okay, so I am now packing my bag to prepare for my adventure. I have all my stuff laid out nice and neatly so I know what I'm doing. It's very important that you stay fully packed, prepared, ready to go. Um, so I'm gonna get my equipment in the bag. So, first things first, first aid kit. It's always better than a second aid kit. My water bottle, the camel, because otherwise the water just spills out of the bag and creates a whole mess. We don't want that. My gloves here, chalk, dust up those hands, and torch number two, head torch. Always be prepared. And last but not least, 
this bad boy. Okay, my last few bits and bobs. First of all, my slings. And yes, I do need all of them. My cans. And my gree gree. Lots of rhyming going on here. Carabiners. Say, uh, do you know how much a play costs? Oh yeah, for us they're only like three fifty. Because uh, those are the pirates of the carabiners. Scatter clouds around, clearing up to be a clear day. It's 12 degrees with a 6 degree wind chill coming from the northeast. Then clearing skies all day to become the perfect day for a climb. Back to you, Jamal, for the sports. I don't know if you can see this right here. It's a pretty gigantic, spectacular looking rock right in the middle of the sea. And not only that, to its left, you have this stunning looking rainbow right in the middle of it all. And what's that? That's a sign that Hope is gonna smash this next climb. A little gift from the universe. Thank you, universe. That's all right for you. That's psycho much. That's all right. That's all right. That's all right now, Mama. Any way you do. I've just um, stopped here with my new friends, the Moosters. Yo. Oh, oh my god. That is not PG in the type of content I want to be sharing on my social pages. Thank you very much. is Kraken Point, a stunning piece of rock and scenery that one is about to try. I'll leave it at that. See you soon, Kraken. dad when I was a kid right I'll tell you a story I used to love jumping and climbing over all this stuff so my parents used to call me hope the mountain go it's actually thanks to both of my parents that I got hooked on chasing the adrenaline buzz you know they used to just encourage me to get outside your comfort zone push your limits and do what makes you happy
45 minutes. Yeah? Could you shut up? You're outside in the lovely weather. You're not enjoying yourself? I'm just thinking about work, to be honest. What's going on? Carly is just really kicking off and I, I don't know. Why? Is something like she's not taking her meds? I don't think she's taking her meds. I don't think anything's being dumb about it. Here, tell me this So, Change the subject. You and Jamie were out for dinner last week. Was it nice? Yeah, it was a nice restaurant. Like, um, I could do with eating something now, actually. I'm pretty hungry. <laughs> Did you not bring anything with you? <laughs> I wish I brought something <laughs> with me. Well, there's nothing in my bag except for me. No, I'm pretty hungry now. Such a sense of freedom that I get every time I come to these amazing locations, week after week, without fail. But why is that? Because it's a freedom from the busy city with all of its ugh, congested roads and busy coffee bars and shops can all get a bit much. Nine to five job that just eats away at your soul and takes a piece of your adventurism with it. When it wraps its corporate fingers around your throat. Blah. Ugh. I mean, there, there has to be more to life than that. I get, I get it. We all have to work to pay our bills, make money, put food on the table, unfortunately. But we are all capable of literally stepping outside our front door, taking a small journey, and you have this beautiful, vast, rugged mountains, seas. You don't have to climb up them like me. Even just look at them. What does that do? Well, it gives you moments to breathe. To think straight. And decide what you really want from life. Because whatever that is, that's what you should be doing. That's what's important. I'm sorry to be harping on, but it's true. And what else, what's most important? Your loved ones. Coming out here, you know, really gives you time to appreciate that. Uh, and I'm saying all this, but I guess I haven't really given time to people or ones who I love at the moment, but that's okay too. Maybe I should make a little more of an effort next time, especially with Dad. Anyway, I'll leave it there. He said, get outside. John. What? Fancy taking a dip in the sea? You know I like my nuts something. <laughs> oh, hi, sorry. Um, don't normally come across many people down this far. <laughs> That's what he said. No worries. You're fine. Um, you're actually the first people I've seen down here this morning too, so you're right. John, there's another ribbon. Yeah. That was me. See, I, I put one up every year for my mum. This is her, her favourite place. That's nice. Doing a bit of climbing while you're here? Yep, I am going to crack a point for my next adventure. We've never been that far down. That's what he said. <laughs> <laughs> well, you safe out there? Ah, always. See you around. Bye. Told me about one of these uh, old houses. 
Um, I always think of her because this lady, she lived on her own. She was quite old. And these are very close to the sea. And one night this wave came. <laughs> crashing in, literally destroyed the whole house. And she kind of, she had to run away and leave her home. But they say that she was, she was so sad that she went wailing into the night and then nobody could find her again. And apparently, you can still hear her screaming around here sometimes. I don't know if I believe in ghost stories, but I do think about like, what happened to everyone that lived in here. Where, you know, how can you just be here and, and gone? How can you not see someone anymore? Blah, 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 blah. Shake it off. I don't want to think about that. There are much happier things on the horizon. And these places are so cool anyway. They don't even need ghosts. They're perfect the way they are. I would live here. Easily. Anyway, I'm gonna jump myself back down off here. Oh, also, can you see that? The moon. The moon in the middle of the day. What more could you want? just bubble bath and how beautiful it is. Guys, you wouldn't think it, but that thing there, the force of it, you wouldn't want to fall in there. And there's a gigantic drop right there. Part of me just wants to maybe just scooch down it a little bit, see what happens. Could it be maybe a bit like a fun park, maybe? What do you think? Click the box for a yes or no. Now, I'm not gonna do it, guys. I think it could be a tad bit too dangerous, you know? But these things are unbelievable. Nobody else is here, look. Where are you, people? Get out and get yourself a nature's bubble bath, for God's sake. So good. Might even just tip my little toe in the water to see if I like it.
Okay, people, this is Hope on her final quest before takeoff. No, seriously, I have everything ready to go. All I have to do is just get myself up there. I'm about to take off. Fasten your seatbelts. See this? This is what it's all about. Taking leaps of faith, nobody else would, to achieve what nobody else can.
Tom?
Okay, I'm doing it. I'm doing it. I'm not even gonna say what has happened to me because I need strength and it's the only way I'm gonna get through it is to act like nothing has happened and there's nothing wrong hopes just <clears throat> taking a break in this forest like I always would nothing nothing wrong here and I'm gonna have the energy to get up and keep pushing through Please, you can do this. You can do this. See you guys. Stay here for a while. I could stay here forever. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
walking stick. Sticky, you are looking good, my old friend. You're gonna help me out of here. Let me down now, bud.
gonna come and get me. They turned towards me. Didn't they? Hey guys, so as you can probably tell, this isn't how I planned for my adventure to go today. I'm, uh, I'm stuck in the bottom of a great big void and not only that, I have a bone sticking out of my leg. But guess what? Help is on its way. We're gonna be okay. And I suppose the only thing I would say is that I'm I'm not gonna be jumping or climbing in the near future again. Cause it's obvious. It's not 
very safe and I didn't have a body like I always tell everyone else to have. And I should definitely have one. But anyway, I will be safe. And I want to thank each and every one of you. So, well, I'm gonna, gonna cut it off there, but remember, there's always hope. <sighs> At least it's warm down here. Maybe I can just actually, I can lay down here for a minute. Just rest, rest my eyes for a little bit, you know. Hmm.
Where, where is my torch? Head, head, head torch. Here. Here it is. you too, Dad. Always be prepared. Come on. Look around this cave and find there has to be a hole somewhere in here. I'm not just gonna sit here. I am not just sitting here. No, it's not who I am. It's not in my nature. 
won't you sit here and act like you can just give up. It's not what you do. We're gonna do this. We could do it. I could do anything. And I'm gonna find a way out of here. And this definitely goes further down than it seems. Come on, Hope. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. There's more to you than your body. You can... You can use something else. There's energy somewhere. You can just keep going. That's all you have to do. That's all you ever have to do. You've come so far already. There's always hope.
I got lost. It's like mom and dad always say, if you get lost, meet, meet us at the waterfall. And it's right there. And it's, it's so... So simple. We, you, especially you, I know what you have and I know all of your secrets. I know what you really want to tell me. There's something bigger going on here, much bigger than anyone could ever imagine. And I know I'm going to be part of it. When you look at me right now, I want to tell you something. Just say it, instead of standing there so quietly, saying nothing at all. Nothing at all. Why don't you just talk to me? Say something. Say it. And when you say it, make sure. Shout out loud to hope. Because hope needs her everything. She needs to hear it all. Because she knows. She knows what's going on. She's going to go tell me.
People in distress can become emotionally, physically, and spiritually shipwrecked. Now, water is used as a metaphor to look beyond mere survival and existence. We want to encourage hope to move forward, to chart out our own life and set new goals. Mm -hmm. It supports a view that they should get on with their lives, do things and develop relationships that give her life meaning. Now, at points on her voyage, Hope may encounter storms where she may fear becoming all washed up. We refer to this as a crisis. At other points, she may experience the sensation of drowning, which we then refer to as a breakdown. People who experience such human storms must be guided to a safe haven. Hope may seek out a place like this to undertake repairs and assess the effects of the trauma which we then refer to as a rehabilitation. Now, all human development, including the experiences of health and illness, involve discoveries made on this oceanic journey. The body represents a ship of life, and the person is the captain. Now, Hope has made steady progress during her stay here with us, but she's also had some major setbacks. She still has a long way to go. So, do you know what you're having to eat? No. Did you know that a slice of pie in Jamaica costs three pounds, but in the Bahamas, three pound fifty? Okay. Well, that's because it's the pie rates in the Caribbean. I do worry about you, love, but it's good to see you. Did, did you know your granny's got a new boyfriend? Seriously, he's younger than I am. Your mum's anniversary's coming up shortly. Did you tell that? Dad, I want to go to the night out. Oh, yeah, thanks. Yeah, that, that was one of your mum's favourite spots. She used to like taking you up there as, as kids. Are you all right in here? You know, I, I, I worry about you. It's, it's, uh, it's busy. It's busy in here. Busy? Hmm. Mm. Yeah. I don't like Jennifer. Don't like Jennifer? Mm -hmm. No. No, I can understand that. Seems pretty quiet in here at the moment. Does it get, does it get noisy? Does it annoy you? Hmm. Well, you know I'm here for you if you... If if there's anything I can do, you've only got to ask. You do know that, don't you?
you got this. Don't move your feet. Feet wide. Open your feet. Open your feet. Open your feet. Now slowly start to walk past. I think it's inception. You've got it. Hey, well done, mate. There you go. Okay. I'm going to hold you there now. You tell me where the camera angle is. 